This video will introduce and demonstrate the basic setup and operation of both the Velvet 1 and Velvet 2 LED light panels. The Velvet 1 kit includes Velvet 1 light panel, V-Lock battery plate with XLR3 connector, power adapter plate, power adapter with XLR3 connector, and a kettle lead. In this video, we'll also be using a light stand, a V-Lock battery, and a sandbag. Begin by unfolding the light stand by loosening the thumb screw, opening out the three legs to produce the widest base possible, and then tighten the thumb screw firmly. Place at least one sandbag over the supports of the light stands to create a stable base. Try to prevent the sandbag from resting on the floor as this will reduce the stability of the light stand. To place the light on the light stand, begin by loosening the thumb screw on the yoke, then attach the light by placing it onto the light stand spigot and re-tightening the thumb screw. The light stand's height can be adjusted by loosening a thumb screw, extending or reducing the light stand's height, and then retightening the thumb screw. Next, attach the battery bay to the back of the light panel by sliding the battery plate into position and tighten the screw to secure in place. The XLR3 cable from the battery plate should then be attached to the XLR3 port on the back of the light panel. To attach a V-lock battery, push the battery onto the bay and slide it into position. To remove a battery, hold the battery with a firm grip and push the ejection button. The Velvet One kit contains a plate to hold a power adapter, and this can be attached to the back of the light panel using the same method as the battery plate. Velcro straps are used to secure the power adapter in position. Attach the XLR3 cable from the power adapter to the port on the light panel. Next, connect the kettle lead to the power adapter and then to the main supply. Be careful to ensure that trailing cables are kept to a minimum and are well signposted. Use the power switch below the XLR3 port to power up the light panel. Both the brightness and colour temperature can be adjusted using the mode, plus and minus buttons on the operation panel. The brightness setting, or colour temperature values, are also displayed. The Velvet 2 is also available from the loan counter and features a larger light panel in comparison to the Velvet 1, requiring an additional V-Lock battery. This concludes the content of this training video. For further help, you can book a one-to-one -one session by sending an email to mmctraining at winchester.ac.uk.